Welcome to CPS Web Tips. My name is Jason King. I am a process architect and manager of the form and workflow practice here at Clear Process Solutions. Today we're going to talk about migrating your solutions and your scripts from Foundation to Evolve. So with what we can do here at CPS is help you save a lot of time and money by assisting you with some specialized tools that we have available to us as a partner of WindShuttle to migrate your studio scripts as well as your composer solutions to the new WindShuttle Evolve platform. So why should you evolve? The new platform from WindShuttle is Evolve and you know, as such, all future development will be likely focused on that Evolve platform. The Studio Desktop application is largely unchanged, so Studio users that basically just run scripts should require minimal training. There, there should be very little transitional um, you know, help that, that is needed there to, to get those people up and running very quickly. Uh, additionally, Evolve does not run on the SharePoint platform, which is a huge um, benefit to you know, to anybody that doesn't want to have an on-premise SharePoint environment any longer or at all, as well as the fact that Microsoft after 2013 has depreciated the free version of SharePoint. So upgrading beyond SharePoint 2013 would require Microsoft licensing, which would be an added expense. And lastly, um, Evolve Speed and Performance has sh been shown to outperform Foundation and it offers a centralized place for all of your windshield related tools and data. So, you know, your, your scripts and your forms and everything are all in the same site. There's no longer separate separation of those things. And, and it just makes management of all of those items much easier. So if you have any questions about this, you can feel free to contact Clear Process Solutions for more information. You can also subscribe to other Web Tips videos. But from here, what I'm going to do is end my little slideshow and jump into a demonstration. So one of the key things to understand when migrating from Composer into, um, into the new Evolve platform is if you were to do this without engaging clear process solutions or wind shuttle directly you'd have to rebuild everything that you would see here all your workflows you know every every loop of your workflow would have to be rebuilt and evolve all of your forms the layout all the different views all these controls everything would all have to be rebuilt in the Evolve platform, you'd have to come into your, your new app and go into the Solutions tab, go in here and add a new form and rebuild that entire thing. The same holds true for your scripts. You wouldn't have to re-record your scripts, but you would need to open your scripts or download your scripts from Foundation first, then open them in Studio, and then go through the process of republishing them just the same way you have in the past to Foundation. You'd have to publish them to Evolve into your transaction library and your query library. So that's a lot of manual effort and a lot of time spent and then obviously expense that goes along with that time. So here at CPS, what we can provide is the ability to help you through that process. So for example, we have a, a developer tool here that's only available to partners just because of the complexity of using the tool. But basically I can point to my foundation environment and then my new evolve environment, find for example, one of my solutions. So a new uh, bill of material request solution. And I can go through this process of migrating. So what this is going to do is allow us to migrate all the different aspects of a foundation solution and migrate that to an Evolve solution, which um, can be problematic doing it manually. Uh, a lot of recreation of, of information and, and data and, and various uh, aspects of your solution, like 
For example, your SharePoint lists that you might be using in your solution now become reference data lists because we no longer use SharePoint. Your SharePoint groups have to now become evolved groups. Your scripts have to be converted over as part of the solution. Um, there's various other things that, that can be impacted, but the point is that I want to show you how you know quickly uh, a wind shuttle partner such as CPS can make this happen. So it basically steps you through the process, all the different uh, items that might have been in that particular solution we have to go through and make sure that we set up correctly and evolve. So for example, these are my SharePoint lists. I am not going to use an existing list in the new environment, and I don't want it to be a SharePoint list anymore. I want it to be a new reference data list. Okay, and in a previous video, I talked about creating reference data lists and managing the data within those lists. And the best practice is to use Excel because that allows you to mass update and change and add any data to those lists. OK, so basically I have everything set up the way that I want here. I hit next. It's going to validate that information. If there's anything wrong, it's going to come back and tell me. So right now I'm just waiting to see if those can be created in the Evolve environment with the settings that I've selected. And once we get through this particular step, um, we can move on to the rest of the items, the next being group data connections. So when we talk about a group data connection, that's basically an Evolve group. So we're converting our SharePoint groups that we may have been using to Evolve groups. And the migration tool, um, you know, as I mentioned, is only available to Windshuttle partners um, just because of the complexity of using it. I'm, I'm sure it looks simple as I step through this wizard. Um, it is simple if everything goes perfectly and you know how to get it set up on the front end. Um, so just as we go through, we just have to wait for these data connections to get created. There we go. So we had no issues. So now we can see that I have some um, some groups that were in, um, in in foundation. So it says tech services group, and it just adds this group data connection after it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that because when I go into the new environment, I don't want that. I just want it to be named how it was. As far as the role. Um, this is basically um, how how the roles are managed. Are, so a data reviewer um, can review, you know, data. It's just it's generally a lot of this applies to scripts. Basically, we're going to pick originator for each one. That's going to give us the access that we need. And then we can go ahead and click next. So now it's going to go create those groups out and evolve. And lo and behold, it's telling me that I have an issue on the SharePoint field. So as we get to that step, um, you see it's adding in this field. I don't know exactly what this was. It, it doesn't seem like a field that, that makes sense to me. Maybe I had something kind of messed up in my foundation solution. So I'm going to choose to ignore that. But basically, these SharePoint fields are now being converted to uh, solution data fields. So these are my promoted fields. Uh, one of the key things to, to pay attention to is the status field in Evolve. That's actually a standard field. It means kind of something else. So we're going to rename that to save ourselves some problems later on down the line. And everything else looks like it should be OK. So we are going to go ahead and give this a try. Uh, before I do that, though, I do want to make sure that I hit sync data type. That should save me from any issues down the road. So from there, I'm going to have those SharePoint fields converted to solution data fields and uh, also promoted the plugins. So I had plugins in my workflow. Um, we're going to go ahead and just try to convert this. Uh, this is an area that can generally give you some trouble because there are some plugins that no longer exist. I think in my case here should be just fine. Had no problems with that. Um, so as far as how swim lanes are managed, that's a little bit different and evolve as well. Uh, we're going to leave it as 
data connection because that's how it should be converted here in Evolve. So we'll hit Next. Should blow right through that. And it's just going through right now in the Evolve solution and setting up the um, that was setting up the swim lanes. Transaction scripts. Um, so we shouldn't have any issue here. I don't think I need to set anything. If I wanted to pick my SAP server, I could do that here. If I wanted to set a system user, I could do that as well. Same thing with query scripts. I can I can set this or I can wait if I needed to to set up a different server. Um, and I could then pick that particular server or my system runner um, within the solution in Evolve as I go to publish it. So then I'll hit next here and that should complete my query scripts. So I have a few warnings uh, or actually it says completed and there were no warnings. So everything went just the way that it needed to. My solution name is new bill of material request. So I'm going to click import. And that's going to go ahead and create this solution in Evolve. Okay, so now it says imported successfully. I click OK. Now if I go to my Evolve environment and I refresh, and I go to Forms, I can see my new bill of material request. And now what's great about this is if I go in and edit this solution, we will see that all of the workflow is converted over. All my loops are here. If I go to forms, you can see that my forms are here, all my views. You can see all the elements are here. Everything is set up. If I go to the solution tab, you can see that it was able to obviously bring in my transaction scripts. Here's all my query scripts. Those solution fields we talked about, you can see those were added as well. Okay. It even brings in JavaScript if there was any. So it's a very, very powerful tool. You just saw an example of everything going exactly right. Where our expertise comes in is when we try to use this tool and it doesn't go exactly right because we can work through any of those issues that might arise. But regardless of issues or, or whether it goes perfectly, this is, a, you know, I think clearly you've just seen this is much faster, much more efficient, and can get you up and running on your Evolve platform um, in a much, much faster way. I'm not going to go through the studio side of things to migrate scripts. It's very similar. You sign into your studio environment and foundation. You tell it where you want it to go and evolve. You basically pick your scripts and you pick the app that you want them to go into in the library and you click next and then it migrates those scripts. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you how that worked. Again, if you have any questions or want to contact Clear Process Solutions to talk about a migration, uh, feel free to reach out to us or your, your uh, wind shuttle rep to talk about any um, licensing and, and costs of, associated with uh, getting up and running on Evolve. Um, but thank you very much for your time, and I hope this was beneficial to you. Have a great day, and hopefully we'll see you um, when, we come, when it comes to looking at other web tips videos.